Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming to you with My Two Scents, which is where I weigh in on a couple of scentsy fragrances. And in this case, I have two scents of the month. So I have the scent of the month for August, which is Glacier Water. And I also have the scent of the month for September, which is Gimme Candy. Little thumbnail there. So first of all, let's talk about Glacier Water. So Glacier Water is a kind of a cornflower blue, light cornflower blue wax. And the scent notes are Glacier Water, Bergamot, Aquatic Lavender, and Driftwood. So this is in the fresh category. So it is a great performer, first of all. It, it's about an eight to a nine in my house. I have melted this multiple times in multiple rooms. Excellent, strong strength and throw, and it lasts over several days, so great longevity. Um, from a scent appeal standpoint, I love it on day one. It is very fresh and clean. That bergamot is front and center. Uh, it has a nice crisp citrus and also an herbal lavender, and it is kind of a watery, fresh, uh, cold kind of scent. So all of those things combined, it's a very fresh, bracing uh, fragrance. And I love it on day one. On day two, for me, in my home, it becomes more of a men's cologne. So I guess the driftwood and the bergamot together, both of which I like, but somehow on day two, it's just much more cologne-y for me. But on day one, I love it. So I can't explain if the lavender is becoming less present on day two and you're getting more of the bergamot and driftwood, which I love, but somehow the combination for me on day two, I need to stop it on day two. So for me, this is great for about 24 hours and then I need to move on. But I love it and I do have several bars. I bought some backups. So Glacier Water is a win for me and I will repurchase it. I wouldn't necessarily club this one, but I enjoy this very much and great performance. So that's Glacier Water. And then the scent of the month for September took me by surprise. So this one is Gimme Candy and it is an orange wax. It is in the bakery section and the scent notes are caramelized sugar, golden honey, and sweet buttercream. So for me, this has achieved what Vendor Wax has always struggled to do and that is achieve a realistic candy corn fragrance. This is very, very sweet, so brace yourself. It is extremely sweet, but to me this is very much candy corn and with a bit more caramel, but it's not ooey gooey caramel. This is more about a true candy corn kind of fragrance. So that honey and the buttercream are really coming through, backed up by the caramel. Very sugary, very sweet. I happen to love candy corn in moderation because it is such a sweet confection. But, you know, Vendor Wax, I, I have always ordered candy corn fragrance from every vendor that I could because I enjoy the fragrance. It's something I like around Halloween and I like for a brief time. This is something maybe for eight hours and maybe in the kitchen, maybe in a bedroom. It's not something I want the whole house to smell like for an extended period of time, but this is a lot of fun. So I could see on Halloween with trick-or-treating, letting this roll, you know, it's to me very realistic and in fact the packaging I don't know if, how well you'll be able to see this but it does show little candy corns so I was a bit surprised because I put this in this morning first of all 9 to 10 strength and throw it's been going about 12 hours in my home now I put it in really really early actually in the middle of the night and it is just going gangbusters in both the living room I have one cube in each of two warmers in the living room at opposite ends that's all you can smell in there. Same thing in the enclosed porch. I have only one cube going in it. It was almost chokingly strong in the beginning. So very strong, good performer. And um, I'm really enjoying this. So like I said, this will be a kind of a one day thing um, that I'll enjoy maybe on multiple days. I could, certainly would enjoy this around Halloween. And I, like I said, I think since he achieved here what Vendor Wax has long struggled to do because it, it typically is very weak, and this is gangbusters. So, congratulations, Sensi. You, you did a good job on this one. So this is my go-to candy corn fragrance from now on. So that's Gimme Candy. 
and that will be available September 1st. I should mention the, scent, the uh, warmer of the month for September. There was no warmer of the month for August, which was very heartbreaking, but that's the way it goes. And the warmer, I did not get the warmer of the month for September, but this is the fellow here. It is Frankenstein, and it's a countdown to Halloween um, warmer. And in fact, that's the name, Countdown to Halloween. So it comes with a little magnetic bat. And how quickly do you think we'll, we'll lose that? You know, so when you get that, hang on to it. I don't know if we'll be able to buy extras. I have a couple of customers interested in this. Um, personally, I'm not much for Countdown calendars, but I think he's very cute. And it is an element warmer. So he also will be available September 1st. His cost during September will be $63, normally $70. There's a 10% discount during the month of, of its initiation. Clemmy is enjoying the box that all of this came in. Nothing like a new box for a cat. Gimme Candy will be $5.40 for the bar during September. Room Spray, $7.20. And Scent Circle, $2.70 during September. So there you have it. Two strong performers. I enjoy them both, and I would recommend them both. So Glacier Water and Gimme Candy. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thank you for watching, and hug, hug your loved ones. Bye for now.